question in my Q&A last week on what I recommend for skincare products and I realized I have never made a skincare video. So I'm here today to talk to you about my skincare routine. I have pretty oily skin, more of like combination skin, so it has some dry patches, eczema, and some oily patches more in like my T-zone area. So I'm going to walk you through my step-by-step -step process along with all the products that I use. So let's get into it. First, before you do anything else, take your makeup off. Back in the day, back in high school, I used to wear my mascara for like three or four days at a time. That's pretty gross. And I would never wash my face and it was a problem. So don't be like me, don't sleep in your mascara because that makes your eyes hurt and your skin more prone to breaking out. You can get clogged pores and it can just get disgusting. So get some makeup removing wipes or if you have a makeup remover that you really enjoy, do that. I just use the wipes because it's just really easy for me to wipe off. And whenever I'm doing my makeup, it's really easy to use as well. So that's what I use before I do any of my skincare routine. Next, go in with a gentle cleanser. I use this one from Sands. It's a local Florida company. It's a non-toxic face wash, but any gentle face wash will work. And if you have an exfoliant, do that once or twice a week. It depends on how sensitive your skin is. I know mine's pretty sensitive, so I only do it once or twice a week so that you can break down all of the dead skin, get that all off so that all your other products that you use sink into your skin a little bit better. So that's what I do. I like this face wash, but you can use tons of other ones as well. I know I've tested probably every face wash in the book, it seems like. This one has been the most consistent for me and it has less nasty things in it, like it's gluten-free, cruelty-free, non-GMO, and it has organic ingredients. I like to use things like this because I know what's actually in my skincare and I'm not putting so many chemicals all over my face. Whenever you have acne prone skin, then you can have hyperpigmentation, which means that you have acne scarring or just a little dark spot from where pimples and other things have been. So definitely get a product that has vitamin C or retinol or glycolic acid or something like that in it. I have the Tula resurfacing gel. This one I really like because it's able to pull all of the things off my face and just make my skin look more balanced and it balances the pH in my skin. And this has hyaluronic acid, which is amazing because it's able to hold all the moisture in your skin. I don't know why acne prone skin is because you're dehydrated. I know that's a lot in some people's case, especially me. I find that if I have lack of water, that my skin suffers a lot. So this is a really good way to be able to hold all the moisture in my skin to prevent those breakouts. So while that is sinking into your skin, I definitely recommend taking your vitamins and brushing your teeth. I recommend the Blemish Blend from Golden Grove for acne prone skin. It's a multivitamin designated to help acne before it even happens, which is amazing and I'm not quite sure how it works, but it's unreal. It contains organic ginger, organic turmeric, organ grapefruit, and grapefruit seed, all known for banishing breakouts. It's vegetarian and it has no fillers, no artificial colors, no preservatives, no soy, no dairy, cruelty-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, caffeine-free, and non-GMO. That's pretty amazing. I've really enjoyed it because like I mentioned before, being able to know what's actually in your products, I know what's in this. And being able to take this as a capsule doesn't scare me at all because I know what's going into my body and it's helping my skin from the inside out. I don't want acne, I don't want the scarring, I don't want the spots. I wanna be able to have my skin look as healthy and vibrant as possible and this has been really a good thing to add to my skincare routine for that. I know you can see a difference in as little as four to eight weeks and I know a lot of people don't talk about multivitamins as part of their skincare routine so I thought it was a really interesting thing to include in this if you're willing to try it I know that it's been a really big benefit to me. Next I have a lot of products for moisturizing because like I said before moisturizing is really important if you have oily skin but make sure you find moisturizing products that don't clog your pores and these ones that I'm going to show you are really good for that not clogging your pores. That's not what I meant, but they're really good for not clogging your pores. Anyway, so first I have this eye cream. I put it under my eyes, just on the bags under my eyes, and I put it on with my ring finger or my pinky because those are the weakest fingers that I have, and it's not going to put any pressure on that delicate skin. So this one I really like a lot, and then I have two different moisturizers. I use this one at night and this one in the morning. This was um, a day and night cream, so you could use it for either one. It's a hydrating day and night cream. And this one is a moisturizer with sunscreen in it. And since my makeup doesn't have sunscreen in it, it's so important to use sunscreen. So important. 
or else you're going to burn and peel and get wrinkles. And no one wants wrinkles. So this has 50 SPF. So that's a good amount of SPF. And it smells really good and doesn't smell like sunscreen, which I really like. And if you suffer from eczema like me, I don't necessarily put this on my face, but on different patches all over my body. I have put this on my face before actually, and around my face, I get really dry skin on my eyelids, in my eyebrows, and behind my ears. This is called hydrocortisone cream. You can get it at like Walmart or anything like that. Any drugstore. This is a lifesaver. If you are itchy from bug bites, dry skin, anything like that, this I always have with me because eczema is a real thing and it's just horrible. And I just feel so itchy all the time sometimes, especially on my face. And you don't want to scratch it on your face or else it can get really inflamed and then makeup lays weird. And it's just a really hard thing sometimes. And I get it especially like on my arms right here where my shirt rubs and then behind my ears where my sunglasses rub. So it's just so weird that I've had to deal with that, but this has been a lifesaver and I think it was like $3 or $4 or something like that. So, or even if you just want a cheap lotion, that is amazing. Now I'm going to show you some of the masks that I really like. I don't use these on a regular basis, but I really like them. These are two masks that I use. This one is papaya and citrus. It's a peel off mask and it's for brightening on the face. And then this is a mud mask, which just means that it's really moisturizing and it works on my clogged pores. I get clogged pores more on my chin, around my nose and like on my forehead, basically my T-zone, if you've ever heard of that term before. But this one has strawberry and yarrow root and I love this one a ton. And you can feel the difference as soon as you use it. I don't use them very often, maybe like two or three times a month because I don't need them very much because I live in a pretty humid climate, but those two are amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before, but they're called hydrating eye gels. You put them underneath your eyes on your the bags of your eye. I don't really know how else to say it. I really like them a lot. This one I just got in the mail as a gift and it's just so cool. I'll open it so I can show you, but they're kind of creepy little eye gels. Oh my gosh, I just poured it everywhere, all over my bullet journal, so that's really good. But <laughs> this is really cool because it has all of the moisture and you put it under your eyes. I know I get bags under my eyes because they're not hydrated enough because I get really dark circles when I don't have enough water or they're dehydrated. So putting these on right before I go to sleep and then you tap all the excess serum into your skin is just so nice and it feels really cooling. So if you have really hot skin or something like that, sometimes I even put these in the fridge and put them on whenever it's a really hot day because it feels unreal. That is all the skincare that I use. I know it's kind of a lot because I don't know, it's, some of it's excessive, you don't need to use all of it, but I know that these are the products that have really benefited me. And I wanted to talk about these multivitamins again because they're just such a cool thing. I have actually have a discount code for you, Kayla Smith 20 if you wanna try them out. I'll put the link in the description because they're definitely worth it. If you wanna look into it, definitely check out their website and their packaging is amazing and it doesn't taste disgusting, which is a major win. That is all the skincare that I use. I know a lot of it is kind of crazy. Like you don't need to use all of this, obviously. I'm just showing you all the things that have worked for me in my life. And I wanted to go back to the multivitamins. If you wanna test them out, I actually have a discount code for Kayla Smith 20. If you wanna look into that, definitely check them out because they're a really cool thing to add to your skincare routine. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified every single time I post. Thanks for watching.